that it takes somebody's humanity to think of them as an icon. Because we are all just somebody's kids. We're human beings. Independent record companies out there, and most of them were at each other's throats and fighting, and, but you and I always had this wonderful appreciation, love, and respect for each other. It was like chemistry. See, mm -hmm. chemistry has got a lot to do with it. And so I love music. Oh, we wrote a song called I'm High Music. Too. Yeah. I said, man, I said, I love music. And I said, do, do, do. I said, come on. <laughs> we had it. We had it just like that. We had this song. Yeah. And that's the magic I'm talking about. I was the first African-American car designer that General Motors ever hired. Ed being the first that holds a huge responsibility. He has that quiet power. Following his passion led Ed to his dream. He got a vision and stayed the course. They're tools that my father used, you know, in body repair and a business that, uh, if it wasn't for the fact he's in that business, I don't know that I would have been interested, as interested in cars as I am. He's really proud of you? I think he is. I think he is. I'm proud of him. Yeah. Based on my complexion and a lot of what I call racial misidentity, I have been in various settings where people felt comfortable saying things and uh, talking about African Americans and other minorities. And I then proceeded to inform them that, yes, I'm personally offended by it. I'm somebody that has relied on my strength for so many years. I'm feeling like a superhero out there on the court. Being in that hospital room by myself, probably at my most weakest and humble state, and literally crying out to God and saying, you know what, Lord, what do you want me to do now? I mean, evidently it's not basketball right this second. You know, if you can give me a second chance, if you can give me another opportunity, um, I'm gonna give my life to serving. When I made that commitment, you know, I feel like that I've done okay, you know, um, but I got a lot more work to do. Guy who has so much, um, you know, is not doing this stuff for himself. He's doing it for so many others.